Alrighty, it is time to rank another soundtrack, and this time we're doing Skate or Die on the NES. As usual, I'm just doing the stage themes, so there's no title theme, no skate shop, no high score theme, just the stages. So there's five distinct songs in this case. I'll preface this like I normally do by stating that this list is just strictly my opinion. You're free to have your own, and I encourage discussion and debate, so feel free to leave your comments on this soundtrack, and you can agree or disagree, doesn't matter. Just please respect my opinion and everybody else's who also voices their opinion. So without any further ado, let's get on with the list. Number five, the high jump. I like how it's minimalistic in the rhythm section with just an up-tempo, pulsing bass and no drums other than the hi-hats, while the guitar riff is busy, or what sounds like is supposed to be a guitar. In fact, it starts right up with the solo, and then it settles down a bit into some regular leads, and then goes right back into shredding. I don't know if it was a conscious decision to have minimal percussion as a means to not clutter things up and let the song breathe a bit, or if it was to differentiate it a bit more from the title screen, because it might have sounded too much like it with the aggressive drums in the background, or at least the beginning part of the song anyway. Either way, it fits the stage well. The high jump shouldn't be as rocking as, say, the race or joust events. But there's some cool licks, and I like that contrast with the chaos of the guitar and the emptiness of the percussion. Number four, Pool Joust. This song used to be an afterthought for me, but the more I listen to it, the more I like it. It's got some odd timing. It's not exactly a beat that you can dance to. And the notes on the lead are all over the place, but still melodic in its own weird way. But I wouldn't really call it a solo either. It's not quite put together like that. I classify it as controlled chaos. It's unique and really cool. Only gripe, I guess, is that it doesn't really change that much. I mean, it's not the same riff over and over again, but it maintains that same chaotic pattern all throughout. There is a little bit of a breakdown for a couple measures before going back to the main verse, so it is something. But I think it should have gone on a little bit longer or had an extension of this breakdown with maybe some other riffs, but maintaining that calm nature of it to keep up the change of pace. I think it would have made that chaotic section all the more better if you calibrated yourself back down only for it to erupt all over again. You're kind of desensitized otherwise. But still, it's a cool song. Number three, Freestyle. One thing I like about Freestyle is how it starts out right away with this riff that sounds like it's going to be the hook and that you're going to hear it quite often in the song. But after two measures with a different root note, it goes right off into something else, while at the same time maintaining the chord progression. So you're still hearing the hook, but it's a whole different variation of it. And it continues later on until you get to the breakdown, which is just bass and drums. But then the guitar comes in and it builds to a whole nother section. So what you thought was a traditional breakdown was really more like the intro to the next chapter. I wouldn't say that the song is playing mind games or doing anything that complicated, but these are cool little nuances that help add dimensions to songs, and it does so here. Number two, Downhill Jam. The rhythm section is definitely in the driver's seat of this one, at least for the first half of the song. The lead guitar hops in there during the first section to add some accents and really play second fiddle to the thundering bass and drums. Then the guitar picks up in the second section and takes control of things while the rhythm section continues to do its thing. And then it all gets paid off in the end with a nice little solo that slows down a bit at the end and then bleeds perfectly with the original verse. I love when loops seamlessly flow back to the beginning like that. Despite the various sections, Downhill Jam stays on a pretty even keel all throughout, and it's surprisingly not as heavy as some of the other tracks, 
It's not mellow or anything, but it's got a steady groove that doesn't change much. But the lead riffs sure do. So there's plenty of variety in the song without having to shift gears. And number one, Downhill Race. Very upbeat, very energetic. It's the most energetic song in the game aside from the title screen. I love how you never hear a riff repeated throughout the entire loop. Although there are distinct sections of the song, at no point does it deviate too far off course. It has a very seamless and natural flow that you'll pretty much find yourself calibrated to. Even though you'll find yourself humming along to it, you'll realize that there's no real hook. It's just some really nice playing that's also melodic and earwormy. So that will do it for this list. Here is a quick recap. Number five, high jump. Number four, joust. Number three, freestyle. Number two, downhill jam. And number one, downhill race. So that's it for this one. What are your thoughts and opinions? Do you agree, disagree, and how would you rank this soundtrack? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. So that'll do it for this one. I will see you next time.